Welcome to Foundation Mastery Method Math Program. First, I will start from the number system. So when you say numbers, so first you talk about even numbers, and then we'll go to odd numbers, and then finally, we will try to understand by definition which numbers are prime numbers. These numbers are playing important role in many operations in arithmetic. So first, let's see examples. Even numbers, examples will be like 2, 4, 6, 8. I'm actually taking all positive even numbers, but of course you can consider negative 2, negative 4, negative 6, negative 8. Those are also even numbers with negative sign. So odd numbers, now we start from 1, then 3, then 5, then 7. You can continue like 9, 11, 13, 15, and so on. So how the prime numbers are classified. In this case, we just want to find a number which is divisible by two distinct factors. For example, two. Two can be divided by two and one, and one and two are the two distinct factors. So we group two also in this. And then four will not be in the group of prime numbers because four has more than two distinct factors, like one, two, and four. We have three factors for four, so we are not taking four. So same way, six, eight will have more than two distinct factors. So then the first prime number is even number, and then rest will be odd numbers, like three, five, seven. So now we need to be a little careful that we don't take nine. Instead, we take 11 and so on. So just keep it in mind that these are the groups. So those groups are having a certain pattern. So mathematics is all about patterns. All right. So next, we'll identify pattern. Now see, look at this. We have numbers like 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11. So now in this, if you look at the patterns, you see we are just collecting odd numbers. The second one, if you see, I'm taking two, then three, then five, then seven, then 11, you see that it is the group of prime numbers. And then you take two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. You can easily understand we are collecting all natural numbers, which are even numbers. Number four, we are taking two, four, eight, 16. So then you can identify the next number. So how it is going? We have started two and then it's double is four. Then we have taken four is double, it's eight and 16. So the next will be 32 and so on. So we'll take a little more complicated situation in this case. Let us look at that. When I take 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, so how's the, how those are coming? 1 is just like 1 is squared, so I'm just taking the natural numbers and squaring those. So the first one is 1 is squared, which is 1. Then you have 4 is, four is coming as 2 squared. 9 is coming from 3 squared. 16 is 4 is squared. 25 is 5 is squared. And same way, the next one will be 6 is squared, which is 36. Next, you take 0, 2, 5, 9, 14. Now you see how it is going. We are taking even numbers. We are taking odd numbers. So it is following some pattern. What is that pattern? So first you see you have 0. Then you add 2 with 0, you get 2. Then if you add 3 with 2, you get a 5. Then at 4, you get 9. At 5, you get 14. So you need to add 6 now. That will give you 20. So identify pattern like this and determine the next number. Next, we are taking 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13. Just take a moment and see what happens. I got 1 and then add 1 with 1, you get a 2. Then 2 plus 1 is 3. 3 plus 2 is 5. So you take two numbers, add them and get the next number. So this type of numbers we call Fibonacci number, but some people also take here one comma one. So then you continue like that. Next, I have one, 
then 5, then 14, then 30, then 55. Now, how those are coming? It has a pattern also you need to recognize. So first you can see what is the difference here. The difference is 4. So that means we have got 1 plus 4 is 5. And then what is the difference here? 9. So we get 5 plus 9 is 14. So what is happening actually? If you look at here, 1 plus 2 is squared is 5. And then 5 plus 3 squared. So 5 plus 3 squared is 5 plus 9, which is 14. And continue like this. Later we will see some application on this. And watch my next video. Thank you.